So what's up guys, it's Houston and Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and today um, we are going to be building a little high tunnel. A low tunnel. A low tunnel. Yeah, so we're finally getting around to putting a low tunnel over our raised bed here. As you can see, uh, we've got about 48 feet of greens planted behind us, beet greens, bok choy, spinach, kale, all kinds of stuff in here. We're inside of our high tunnel. We're gonna be building a low tunnel using PVC pipe. We're gonna use half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe and Agrabon fabric. So I went to the lumber yard and picked up some half inch PVC pipe. It comes, or for us, it came in 20 foot sections. We're gonna cut those in half and make two 10 foot sections. And this is how we're gonna cut them with. We're gonna use those. We're yeah. gonna use those PVC pipe cutters, that's right. Yeah. And make an arch over the top of our raised bed. And then I've got some Agrabon fabric here. I'm not gonna use greenhouse plastic. This is, um, I really don't know how to, what to call this it's i mean it's just a fabric it's kind of like a kind of like a felt fabric you can buy it through johnny seeds amazon lots of different places i don't want to use plastic over the top of these raised beds right now because i'm afraid i'll get too much heat inside the greenhouse and then another row of, of plastic over there i don't want them to get too hot the agrabond fabric will give us that six to eight degrees of frost protection and not get too hot and muggy. I don't want to cause mold and things under the uh, the low tunnel. So let's get started. Houston wants to learn how to measure out 10 feet, cut the PVC pipe, put our arches up and all that stuff. So let's let Houston get started. So 10 inches? 10 feet. Measure it out. Nope, keep going. Keep going, it's gonna be like halfway. Halfway down the pipe, keep going. Just take off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Whoop! Why don't you let go? When you get down there, push this button and it'll lock the tape measure closed, okay? okay. All right, take off. All right, so right here? No, right here where the tin oh. is. Make a line. There you go. Squeeze it down. Can you do it? Hang on, I'll help you. Get hold of it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Let go. Squeeze. All right, now you close it off. Bam. All right, gotta do it again. Ah, good job. Let it crash one more time. Ah. So as I said, we're using half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. I'm afraid if you go any bigger than half inch, any bigger around, you won't be able to get it flexible enough. And we're just making a hoop. Now if we wanted to, we could cut an upright, put an elbow on it, go across, and then put another upright down. Hey, watch what you're doing, you'll poke a hole in our plastic. But that'd be a little bit more expensive because we'd be using bigger pipe, and each one would have two elbows. With this half inch, we'll just make a hoop, stick it in the ground on either side. Um, I've been debating on how I wanted to do that part. Um, we could, so here's just a little test idea. This one's on the outside of the bed, and the other one back here is on the inside of the bed. As you can see, just adding that hoop on the outside of my bed gives me quite a bit more room. See how much more room it makes? It makes a big difference, and we don't lose any height at all. So. I think we're going to go on the outside of the beds, probably space these about every eight feet, something like that, and then we'll stretch our fabric across and use some sandbags to hold it down. You go over there and hold it right at the, right at the end of the bed, right on the corner of this one, right on the outside, go on the outside, try to push it down in the ground, Can, if you can't, just put your foot against it and hold it there, and I'll come push it in the ground. Doing. 
Alright. Scoop number two. Hold it by that black mark. You got it there? Houston, I got a big fish! Oh, I got a big fish! Really mean! No? See a black mark? Great job. It's hot in here today, Houston. So before we stretch our Agrabon fabric across these hoops, I just want to say this half inch PVC pipe will work great, I know for sure, in this high tunnel because I'm not going to have to worry about things like a snow load or anything. So I'm not too concerned about them being wobbly. So these are just really narrow, little small, low tunnels. The Agrabon fabric I have was cut for more of a market garden style low tunnel. Most people, when they do those outside, they use half inch electrical conduit and you can buy a hoop bender, watch out buddy, back up from Johnny Seeds. And so this is one 10 foot stick of electrical conduit, galvanized electrical conduit. And it's a lot, it's a lot wider bed. And this thing was made for, made to cover two 30 inch beds with a one foot walkway down. So you can buy these uh, electrical conduit at any hardware store and you go to johnnyseeds.com or in their catalog and buy the low tunnel hoop bender and you can bend those hoops yourself. They're metal, the galvanized metal is going to hold up a lot longer than PVC pipe obviously and it's going to support a lot more weight if you're doing this outside. So here's our big roll of Agrabon fabric. I've had this sitting in a barn for several years. You can get multiple seasons worth of use out of this stuff. It's just gonna get a little dirty over time, especially if you're outside in the garden. Um, it will rip, but if you're careful with it, you can get a couple years use out of it because you're really only using it for season extension. Now in here in the high tunnel, I may end up using it all the way through the winter just to protect my greens. Depending on where you live, you may be able to use it to protect through the winter it's not going to hold up with a snow load very well like a greenhouse plastic would. So if you're outdoors and you're worried about snow and ice and things building up, Agrabon fabric probably wouldn't be the best thing to do. But if you live in a climate where you don't get much snow, this stuff works great. You hold this in. Just hold it right here for me. And this one too. We're going to unroll it. Got to hold both pieces. Let's fold it over. That's what it is. So as you can see, I've got the uh, I've got the Agrabon fabric stretched over the top of all my hoops, and I'm just holding the ends down with some sandbags. These are some old sandbags we used when we were growing a lot more vegetables. They're several years old. They hold up really well. When you're doing this outside of a high tunnel, if you're doing this outside in your garden, you're going to want a sandbag support at at each one of your hoops. You're going to want to put a sandbag on the ground to hold the fabric down on both sides of each hoop, so you can stand the wind. In here, I'm not going to have near as much wind, but I'm still going to add a couple sandbags. Now we will have to come out here during the day and raise the sides on this. Even though it is fall, we're going into winter, it's still, even without the low tunnel right now, it still gets up 85, 90 degrees in the high tunnel. With the low tunnel, it's going to be even hotter in there. I don't have a thermometer here, but maybe we'll get us a thermometer so we can monitor the temperature inside there. But having that that extra protection from frost, plus even during the day, having that extra heat, I think is really gonna spark these greens to do some serious growing. What are you doing there? What does that do? Get the weeds out. Get the weeds out. Here, you're up against the side, bud. Oh. There you go. Yep. 
So there it is, a very crude, simple, easy to build, fairly inexpensive, low tunnel to add an extra six to eight degrees of frost protection to our crops through the winter. So our plastic and our high tunnel here is gonna give us that six to eight degrees. So from 32 down to say um, 26 degrees is what we would get with just the high tunnel. Then another six to eight degrees. So we're talking 18 to 20 degrees of frost protection. So hopefully we can get our greens and things down into the teens, low 20s, high teens, and still not get frosted inside the greenhouse, which we'll get here in Oklahoma. That'll get us most of the way through the winter. We may have some colder temperatures, but a lot of these greens can take a little bit of frost on their own. Like the beets and the spinach and the kale can handle a good frost. So this is even more protection. We should have greens all the way through the winter. And we all know Houston loves his greens, right? I mean, really? You like to eat spinach and bok choy and kale? He's lying. Don't listen to him. You guys have I seen like him. I like it in juice. Oh, okay. Me too. That is... I, I agree with Houston on that one. We prefer to drink our greens. That's why we grow so many greens, huh? This is what I made for our carrots that we're going to maybe plant this spring. And... Hair's all messed my, up. And I wrote my name and an A for arms well houston thanks for helping me today i really appreciate it this is awesome of you guys get your kids outside get your kids out in the garden this time of year is beautiful fall is amazing get your kids off of fortnite don't let your kids sit around and play fortnite all day that game is going to destroy the world it is going to destroy and i'm turning into one of those old people aren't i because i played video games when i was a kid but fortnite's this game is like super addictive if you've not heard of fortnite I don't know where you've been because it's destroying it's destroying families. Anyways, guys, that's all we've got for today. Get outside, build yourself a low tunnel. You don't have to have a greenhouse or a high tunnel to do this. You can do that outside. You could use greenhouse plastic or Agrabon fabric. Um, you can do it out of PVC pipe or you can use that electrical conduit by the seed or the uh, seed by the pot bit. Man, I can't talk, Houston. You can buy that pot bender from Johnny Seeds and build you some low tunnels and get your crops like through jo fall and like, even through a lot of the winter. Like Johnny Appleseed. Like Johnny Appleseed? Well, kind of. All right, guys, that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I've got Houston here. I don't end the video when he's here. You can end the video. Is there anything you want to say? So, um, so guys, if you like this video, comment down below hit the like button, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. That's right. Good job, Houston.